Hello Rams, I'm Tim McCall and for one last time this semester I'd like to keep you updated with all the latest in the world of Rams sports. The CSU softball team received some exciting news earlier today as the Mountain West Conference announced that Rams sophomore Bridget Hutton has been named the Conference Pitcher of the Week. This was Hutton's first time earning Mountain West Conference recognition. Hutton's award comes after she posted two complete game performances last week, both of which resulted in a Rams win. The Platteville, Colorado native allowed just one earned run in a 3-1 victory over the University of Northern Colorado and pitched a complete game shutout in a 5-0 victory over UNLV. Hutton and the rest of the CSU softball team will look to duplicate their performance from last week as they begin a three-game series at the University of Nevada on Friday. Be sure to check out Collegian.com to see if your Rams can beat the Wolfpack in this weekend series. In other news, the CSU women's tennis team will travel to Las Vegas this week to participate in the 2017 Mountain West Championship. The 11th seeded Rams will open up against the Boise State Broncos, who are the 6th seeded team in the tournament. The match is scheduled to start on Thursday at 3 p.m. The Rams will be looking to advance past the first round of the tournament for the first time since 2013. If they succeed, it will be the sixth time in history that the Rams have been able to advance to the second round. The CSU tennis team has steadily improved throughout the year and will look to complete a strong finish to what has been a memorable season. Be sure to visit Collegian.com to see how your Rams fare in the 2017 Mountain West Championship. The CSU men's basketball team also got some exciting news yesterday as head coach Larry Eustacey announced that the team has received a national letter of intent from 6'9 forward Alonzo Tyson. Tyson, who has played the last two seasons for Cape Fear Community College, has become known for his rebounding and shot blocking ability. Starting in only 25 games last season, Alonzo totaled 47 blocks and averaged just under 9 rebounds per game. When Alonzo enrolls at CSU next semester, he will have two years of eligibility remaining and will be eligible to play immediately. Tyson's height, length, and athletic ability are all elements that Rams fans should be excited about and are all things that could lead to Tyson becoming a staple in the Rams lineup next season. That's all the sports we have for you tonight. It has been a pleasure sharing the sports news with you this semester. But don't go anywhere because up next, it's Ryan Christ with entertainment.